Hey guys, Clubbin728 here, and today we're, I'm going to discuss the ASP P6, ASP Protector P16 ex, a per, collapsible, per, our personal size collapsible baton. As you can see, as you can see here, it is a personal size collapsible baton collapse that and you can see that there is a little belt clip here you can clip into your pocket and it's an all-around great baton I've been I've carried this thing on me you, you can get it from www.asp-usa.com they're the manufacturers of this baton so you can get it for about $72.50 off their site but it's you're gonna have to pay shipping too so it comes out to be about comes out to be about ninety five something. But if you um, but if you get um, but if you'll get ten percent off your first order, click on the icon where it says get ten percent off your first order. So you can get this for about about around eighty not around ninety dollars with shipping, and it's an all around great baton. It's great. It's great for self defense purposes. Now, what I want to tell y'all is that first, you want first before you before you purchase this baton, check with your local laws to make sure that carrying a baton in your state is legal. They're not they're not regulated uh, by the government by the federal on the federal level, but they're regulated by state levels. So I know different states have different laws on these, and different states will not allow you to carry this. But I live in Texas, so we can now carry these on us now. For self-defense purposes, and I would want to still tell y'all this here is considered a deadly weapon, so I would suggest that to 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 uh to train yourself with this. I would suggest looking up YouTube videos and uh, and practicing hands-on with those with those vi with those techniques you see on YouTube, because there's more to this weapon than just hitting somebody with it. There's a lot more to it. So I would suggest training with training yourself with it. In Texas, we don't need to be we don't need to have a permit for these anymore, and we don't need we don't need to be trained for these anymore. If you're a civilian, you can just buy this and train yourself how to use it. I train myself how to use mine. So I would also suggest even if you're a handgun carrier, a concealed, even if you have a CHL, I would and you have a handgun, I would still recommend carrying a baton if it's legal in your state. Uh, I would still recommend carrying one because in area, for areas that do not allow handguns, this will allow, they'll allow you to carry these so you don't go unprotected. So I would suggest that. And this is considered a less than lethal weapon. It is not a lethal weapon. So, uh, and you're not, and the areas where you do not want to hit somebody on is the head, face, neck, the, uh, you do not want to hit in the middle of the chest where your heart is, and you do not want to hit in the lower back where the kidneys are. Those are those areas are big no-nos for for hitting people with a baton on. So anyway, guys, this is a great weapon to carry for self-defense. I would suggest also if you carry pepper spray too, use the pepper spray first, and if and if it's not and if it doesn't show to be effective, then you got this to, as a backup. So anyway, guys, just want to do a little review for y'all on this baton. It's a great baton. The the lengths of these batons go from 12 to 21 inches. 12, 16, and 21 inches. This is a 16 inch. So I would suggest 16 inches if you're uh, if you're like me and you don't have big pockets. And I would not I would not recommend you to I would not recommend anybody to buy the 12 inch. That's getting too close to something. That's getting too close to your assailant. I would recommend 16 and 21 inches, which is P16 and P21 batons. I, those are the ones I would recommend. So anyway, guys, just want to give you a little update on this baton, and it's uh, it's got knurled grips on it, so it's so you got a better grip with it too. And uh, the the baton the baton tip of it right there, the little ball is replaceable, so. Uh, is replaceable if it, if it gets to if it gets to uh, nicked at the top of it. So anyway, guys, want to do a little review, review for y'all. The advantages of a baton are uh, 
are that you get better reach with a baton, and you and uh you don't and you don't get and you don't have and you don't have to be up like within arms length. You don't have to be within arms reach of a uh of an assailant to uh, use it. So anyway, guys, just want to do a little review for y'all on this baton. If y'all have any other uh if uh. So I'll be sure to have some more videos uploaded for y'all in the future. I'm Clipman728. So in the so in the meantime, stay stay safe, America.